Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, you read the title right. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can get rid of your acne scars and your acne spots. So if you're interested, make sure you keep watching. Now, I think this is a subject that really hits home because honestly, I suffered from acne for so long. I think the worst part is that someone that doesn't suffer from acne, they don't really understand how upsetting it is and how much of your confidence comes down just because of your acne. That aside, acne is one problem. After what remains from acne is another. Now, I think not everyone suffers from acne scars after they have acne. I mean, some people have the luck of having clear skin after they go through that whole phase of having acne. Now, I wasn't one of those people and I know how bad it is to have acne scars, especially because you're constantly looking for ways to treat it. For me, I've been to over 10 dermatologists, which is so bad because I was constantly looking for a way to get rid of my acne scars. And obviously the first treatment that came to my mind was laser treatment. Now, the problem was that after my acne scars, I had a lot of redness in my face. The worst part of my redness was that I was suffering from rosacea. Now, if you don't know what that is, apparently it's some kind of sensitivity in your skin that causes your skin to get really red. That could happen after you wash your face, that could happen after you exercise, or some people just have that redness on their skin regardless of what they do. And that's what happened to me after my acne. Now first, I needed to treat my acne and then I had to get rid of my rosacea but yeah that's a whole different story like I told you guys I went to a lot of dermatologists I was looking into getting laser treatment for my face to get rid of those acne scars and one after another every doctor basically told me that I shouldn't do laser treatment because of the redness of my face and that once I even treat that redness the fact that it's going to come back after laser, there was a very, very high percentage. So that's when I really started looking into other ways that I could treat my acne scars. And that's where it leaves me now and that's what I'm going to share with you guys. So obviously for me to treat it, I did a lot of research. And I mean I used a lot of products that did no good whatsoever. Luckily, I came across a site, now I'm not quite sure what it was, I think it was like acne.com or something. It was just a site where people were just discussing different treatments that worked for them and what didn't work for them. And someone mentioned rosehip oil and also MSM cream. Now, I had no clue what these two were, but then I started doing a little research on them. After my research, I found out that these two products did wonders for a lot of people and I was like, I have to get my hands on them and try them out for myself. Another product that people were mentioning for scars was scar creams. And one that really stood out for me was Mederma. I did a little bit of research and I found out that that is apparently the best kind of scar cream that you could use and that's even for like regular scars it's not just for like acne and stuff most people just use it for regular scars so what I did is I went on to Amazon and I ordered these three products so my first product that came in was the rosehip oil that's a hundred percent pure and natural rosehip oil and it's by Radha or Rada if I'm pronouncing that right I mean there's a lot of different kinds that you could buy I mean literally there were so many different brands but I was just reading over people's reviews and this one was the best I think that people mentioned and that's why I picked this one up so the MSM cream that I picked up was this one right here and I will tell you what and how I use each of these products so don't worry and obviously for the scar cream that I picked up, I picked up the Mederma scar cream and this is the bigger package. It's a 50 ml. I know it comes in a 20 as well, but I just thought the 50 ml was a better deal. So like I've said and I keep saying, 
I used to have a lot of scarring and then a lot of red spots and I've realized that even now when I do have a spot here and there um, I mean I don't break out like I did before but obviously sometimes I do break out you know have like one pimple or two here and there the problem with my skin is that it leaves a mark and that mark usually is there for I don't know probably more than like two years I was so happy when I read that rose hip oil what it does is that apparently it makes your skin brighter so it lightens all those dark spots and it just makes your skin more vibrant now for MSM cream I heard that it even helps scars that are super deep and apparently there's like different kinds of scars. I don't really remember what my scars are called. I mean, obviously I'm not a dermatologist and I know like I've been to a lot of dermatologists, but just the terms, I think it was something like a box car scar and um, rule pit. If I'm not mistaken, I have like I had two different kinds. Uh, the worst part was like near my um, eyes, like right on the side here. And I've been using these for about three months. I'm actually gonna show you guys a picture of a before and after, and I'm pretty sure I showed you in the beginning. But as you guys can see, my scarring was very very bad, and now it's just so much clearer and my skin is so much smoother all those like dark spots are pretty much gone and those deep deep scarrings they're almost gone so I'm pretty sure if I use them in the long term then I'm going to see massive results but I would say my skin has cured about 85% so you guys judge yourself. I mean, I'm showing you guys actual pictures of my skin. One thing that I do want to mention is that everyone's skin is obviously different. Something that might work for me might not work for someone else or might work even better on someone else. So you should always keep that in mind when you're using a product. Now for my routine of how I use it, when I'm going to sleep, I apply the Mederma uh, Scar Cream to any kind of like deep scarrings that I have and like my spots just like a very very thin layer like you don't have to go all out with it just a little bit is enough so I leave that on overnight and in the morning I wash my face and I apply the MSM cream now for the MSM cream I only apply it to scarrings where it's really really deep I realized that when I apply it to all over my face, I get a little bit of redness, but when I apply it only to those like really, really deep scarring, when you apply it to those, it's honestly such an amazing cream. You see results in a week. That's what I have to tell you guys. Like, I'm not lying, you see results in a week. In your first week, you see such massive results, and then it kind of like slows down, but then if you start taking pictures every week and going back to your picture, you see that it's really, really doing wonders on your face. So I leave the MSM cream on for about an hour and then I wash it off with water. And depending on when you have time now, whether you're coming home from school or you're coming home from work, after that, wash your face and apply the rosehip oil. Now, the rosehip oil, the great thing about it is that even though it's an oil, it doesn't really make your face oily. To be honest, I don't even know why it's called an oil because it doesn't make your face oily at all. But because the Mederma cream that you apply dries out your face quite a lot, the rosehip oil kind of balances your face and it, it restores your face from being too dry but at the same time not making it too oily. So these three products together somehow work and have literally done so much for my skin that I was like, I know I've only been using them for three months, but I've seen such massive results that I have to share with you guys because I know it's such a struggle struggling with acne scars and there was days that literally I didn't want to leave the house because I was like, Makeup is not going to cover that. And you know that makeup doesn't cover acne scars, when they're, especially when they're really deep scarring. It's not going to cover it. So you really want to look for something that's going to cure it. So I really do 
suggest you guys give these products a try and see if it works for you because it worked so well for me. If you guys want me to do a video on how I got rid of this horrible acne that I had <laughs> before it led to the acne scars and the redness of my face, uh, let me know and I'll make a video on that. And I hope this video really helped you guys out and if you found it useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye thanks for watching